everyone, I'm Shruti Pandey, Grade 7 studying Nessus Academy and this is my little sister. Hello everyone, my name is Sarita and I am staying in UKG. Welcome to another video of my channel, Code and Bubble Shruti. In my previous video, you saw the components, connections and how to make bugler alarm work. In this video, we are going to see the programming and the designing part of the app. Let's quickly get into it. Now, I'm in my computer. Let's quickly see the designing and the programming part of the bugler alarm. You should first log in to stem.desi.in, then give start new project. And I'm going to give it to be the bugler alarm. And I'm going to give it to be one. And give OK. And wait till it loads up. Now, it is the palette viewer components, properties, and the media right here. Palette is where the pick the components, and the component section is where whatever components are there inside the screen one, it is shown in the component section, and the properties are the properties of each component. So, first, I'm going to add a button right here, and I'm going to change the size to be 30. I'm going to give this to be scan. So it scans the QR code. Now I'm going to make it to be center by clicking the button, uh, screen right here and center right here. Now let's add some color to the app by clicking the background color right here. And I'm going to give it to be cyan and a button color to be pink. If you want any other color, you could go to custom and custom your color. Now let's add the invisible components. First, I'm going to add the Bluetooth client. Next, I'm going to go add the barcode scanner. And don't forget to untick use external scanner. And next, I'm going to add the notifier. These four components are very important for every uh, every robotic project. The button where you know we could press scan and go to the barcode scanner, which scans and connects the Bluetooth client, and which gives us the notifier notification that if it's connected or not. Now let's add the two main components in the bugler alarm, which is the buzzer. and the IR sensor. It is coming, it's not an illegal integer because we didn't uh, give the port numbers yet and then connect to the Bluetooth client. So let's give this to be okay. And I'm gonna connect to the Bluetooth client and give the port number to be one as I connected it to one and connect this. And I'm going to give the port number to be two. And that's all. The signing part is done. Let's quickly see the programming. Now, I'm going to click the uh, backpack thing because I all, in all the robotic products, I give three main steps as the same. So I uh, put these blocks into the backpack. The first step is then scan click called barcode scanner to scan. I'm going to give this to be button one instead. And if you want to rename, you could just click the particular button and give rename and rename. Because I have only one button, it's easy to identify. I'm going to give barcode scanner after scan. And after the scan, it should connect to the address and the notifier. First, it should just connect it, else it should still not connect it. Then it is, it is not very important, but it, if if you have any bug issues and everything, you could put this. Sometimes uh, if the motherboard is not connected to the mobile, it shows error and error. And even if we back press, it continues showing that. So this may avoid the problem. Now let's get the, uh, see the programming of the bug bugler alarm. So first let's give if then an else statement. And I'm gonna give uh, equal to operation. So 
I'm going to give call IR sensor get IR value and the boolean to be true. So when IR sensor, you know, identifies any object before it, it should, the buzzer should start. And I'm going to give the sound speed to be 255. You could give it how much ever you want. And else it should stop. So I'm going to give this to be zero. You could even give false statement there. So that's all the programming part is done. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And let's see you in the next video. Till then, bye. bye.